Quake safety rules approved by the L.A. City Council are the strongest in the nation, and it won't be cheap. Who picks up the bill? Ed Lasko's live in the Wilshire District with details. Ed. And we're talking about more than 10,000 older buildings in the city that now have to be retrofitted, like this concrete building, Park La Brea. It is the biggest apartment complex this side of the Mississippi, more than 440 more than 4,000 apartments involved here, believe it or not, and just like all the other locations to be retrofitted. The big question, who's going to pay for it? Who do you think? Ray, play. The Northridge quake in 94, fires and destruction, buildings down everywhere, like these soft-story apartments collapsing. Now L.A. is getting ready for the next big one, retrofitting thousands of these older, unsafe buildings. And what makes it unsafe are this construction where you can park underneath and the building is only held up with these posts. Larry Gross knows he survived Northridge, back then living here off Moore Park in Sherman Oaks, where these wood-framed or, or soft-story buildings, as they're called, will all have to be retrofitted. It is now mandatory under the new law just signed by the L.A. Mayor, Eric Garcetti. Like, remember the Sonoma quake? Yeah. That one building that came down and killed somebody? That was a voluntary program and they didn't do it. The mayor on Fox 11's Good Day LA saying landlords will have time to retrofit. The soft story wood frame buildings will have up to seven years, while owners of concrete buildings will have up to 25 years. Major repairs that bring a big price tag, leaving tenants scared about another kind of big one hitting. Is a possible big rent increase that can come based on the ability for landlords to pass on 100% of the cost and tenants could be facing a $75 rent increase in per month. Per month. That's if city council doesn't change that law, which tenant groups like Larry's claim threaten to bring down apartments under economic collapse. And right now, city council is talking about a plan where they would basically split the cost between landlords and tenants with the tenants on rent control, maybe paying as much as $38 more per month in their rent if that plan becomes law. For now, we're live in the Mid-Wilshire District. Christine, to you. All right, Ed, 